Hey everybody, it's your boy Non Dairy, and today I want to talk about Chainmon. So what exactly is Chainmon? Chainmon, which is short for Chain Monsters, is a blockchain game built on the Flow platform. If you don't already know about Flow, Flow is a developer-friendly blockchain as well as cryptocurrency that was made by the creators of NBA Top Shot and CryptoKitties. In this video, I'll be going from slide to slide to cover various aspects of the game. And with all that being said, let's get right into this content. Chain Monsters is an MMORPG in which you can catch, train, breed, trade, and battle with Chain Monsters. Do know that the graphics in here are outdated. Chain Monsters has released video of their updated graphics and we'll be sure to check that out shortly enough. Chain Monsters is set in the land of Ancora, which is split out into eight different islands. Do note that in this, in this image provided, there's only six islands, but that's only because this was a mock-up image made during their Kickstarter campaign. I'm sure when we all get access to Alpha, we'll be able to not only see the eight different islands, but be able to explore them as well. So this, the game, the story mode is based on you being a Chainmon trainer and you work with N-Corp as an N-Agent in order to discover mysterious anomalies that are happening across Ancora uh, caused by various chain mods. And throughout this game, you'll be able to travel the land either solo or with friends uh, in order to capture chain mods, battle out with other chain mods and other chain mod trainers. Now, you can either play solo uh, and, do, and, and do quests in that manner, but do note that you will need to play with friends or a community in order to do group quests, dungeons, and raids. And in these group quests, dungeons, and raids will come higher, higher or vast rewards, such as unique NFTs possibly, um, probably some unique chain mons, um, or, or some other, or some other, or other in-game items as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Now, battles in Chainmon are done in a turn-based nature. Each Chainmon has ability points that they use in order to battle out with various Chainmons. So as you can see in this example, there's a Chainmon that casts Super Fist and he uses up four ability points because now he only has four, or 10 out of 14 ability points. And the key here really is because it's turn-based, you really need to, you know, you really need to have a strategy laid out in order to battle other ch other chain mon trainers or other chain mods in general now i know what you're thinking chain monsters sounds just like pokemon don't say pokemon don't say pokemon <laughs> why do i say that because in their discord if you say pokemon you might get banned if you say it in the game you might get banned so i just i want to look out for you guys and just don't say pokemon <laughs> so I know you guys are thinking that this sounds just like Pokemon. Where, where is it different? Well, it's different in four different ways. Variations, environmental effects, mutations, and traits. That's right, you heard it. So first, I wanna talk about variations. As you can see in this example here, you have three different types of variations. You have normal, shadow, and crystal. The only differences with shadow and crystal versus normal is the number of chain mods that are available in this cosmetic change. Just because you get a crystal chain mod doesn't mean that you might be able to be a normal chain mod of the same species. It really all depends on mutations and skills acquired. So again, the only difference here with variations is just the number that are available. Crystal, I believe has 600 available. Shadow has 8,000 and normal, I think there's an, there's an infinite amount. So yeah. Now, breeding or mutation. Breeding is, is, is showcased by this example I provided below. You have a normal variant plus a shadow variant giving you this unique chain mon um, that you won't be able to capture in game. This chain mon will only be able to be created if you were to breed them together. So breeding is limited as, as the parents can only breed a number of times and you only I mean, you want to breed in order to create unique abilities. Um, it's not it's not the case where if you were to breed, you create the ultimate chain mon. The creator of the game um, had and wanted to eliminate this this idea of ultimate 
monster or ultimate power. So breeding will only really help you create unique ability and unique chain mons that you might be able to sell on and not sell but trade on and off the marketplace. And I'll talk about that shortly enough. Last thing I wanted to bring up was environmental effects. Environmental effects are important because they provide temporary and permanent uh, ailments or effects to your chain mon. If we look at this example here, let's say that the chain mon is in rain and the rain causes the chain mon's attack power to go up. If it's a temporary ailment, it could maybe last for an hour or two. If it's permanent though, that's where the key comes into play. Because it's a permanent status um, update, when when the chain mod decides to breed or decides um or 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 is powerful enough to level up and evolve that that ailment or that effect will will stay with it for 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 as long as uh, as long as it's effective so you definitely want to be mindful of environmental effects now here is where you can possibly and potentially get get paid to play now chain monsters is a blockchain game as i said before there are unique nfts within the game that you can get and that will be stashed in your wallet for which you can trade in the game or or offline offline is what you see here this is the vive website and chain monsters has already posted some items that they want to sell for the flow cryptocurrency as you can see here, you can you can buy chain mods here. You can buy a mysterious ticket, a world map poster. Um, you can you can get exclusive outfits for your character. You can even get decorations for your house. Yes, I'm talking house. You will have a virtual house when you're when you're in the chain mod universe, and you can put a chip leaf plushie there. So again, you can have unique NFT that you can trade in game or off the game. In, in in marketplaces such as Vive, Chain Monsters is already undergoing, um, you know, undergoing website maintenance to create a marketplace on their website as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that too. All right, I know I covered a lot of content, so now you guys are probably thinking, where can I play? When can I play? How can I play? Whoa, 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 chill. I'll get to that. I will get to the when and how. How you can play it is through PC, which is through Steam, and iOS or Android. I know I have consoles listed here per this screenshot. Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and potentially PS5 are all on hold. We don't know when you know the creators are going to be able to get this launched on consoles, but I do know for certain it will be available on Steam, iOS, and Android. So now the next part is when can I play? Alpha Access was supposed to come out today on April 14th, 2021. However, that seems to be delayed as, um, as I haven't seen any official announcements that it's open. So it might come in the next couple days, or next week, or maybe in a couple weeks. What I do know, though, is when they release Alpha Access, it's going to be released in two versions. The first version is Testnet. They want to release Testnet because they want to test out their servers for when a bulk amount of users come in at one go. So when this happens and they're on Testnet server, anything you do in the Testnet will not transition to when they get onto the mainnet server, which will be the official official at Alpha Access. So, for example, if you catch a chain mon, don't be surprised if you see that chain mon missing when you have to play on mainnet. Everything will restart. You'll have to redo everything that you might have gotten in testnet. So you're probably thinking to yourself, non-dairy, why would I want to go through that effort, you know? It sounds like a waste of time. Well, it's not really a waste of time when you think about it like this. If you're able to get insider information on what quests to do, how to do them quickly, and which chain mods to capture in testnet, that will save you a lot of time um in the long run for when mainnet alpha access comes out so you should definitely put this into consideration if you want to play this game and if you want to play on testnet if you want to play on on mainnet or both in terms of alpha access now you're probably thinking all right i got a game plan now non-dairy tell me where can i get alpha access where can i get it Lucky for you, I put a link in the description below to where you can go on to playchainmonsters.com. On the homepage, you can see I put a little red box to where you click on store and you'll be able to purchase Alpha Access for 30 bucks. And with Alpha Access comes with a season pass, which means that when the game does debut, you'll be able to play the game for free. And 
with alpha access comes the possibility of you getting unique nfts that won't be available on the public server so there's a lot to think about when you're thinking about should i be spending 30 bucks on this game i think the answer is yes and so definitely um if you check out the page you might see that the you might see that the link is gone to purchasing alpha i'm not tricking you i'm not debating you what's happening is that uh, the creators have disabled the link to purchase alpha access in the mo moment just because they're trying to roll out the game through their testnet server so i'd give it a couple days maybe a week join their def join their discord definitely um as you can see on their main page for official announcements um uh, as to when alpha access will be re-released through their website now i want to show a video here of i, I want to show a video here of the advanced graphics that I was talking about before in this gameplay. So per the creators, um, they said what they've done is they've mixed high bit 2D pixel art with 3D characters. So if you go back in the video or even remember, when I showed you those GIFs, uh, you saw that the graphics looked, you know, very 2D, kind of Pokemon Game Boy-ish there. But now you can see that they've that they've revamped the graphics, and I'm very much looking forward to playing Alpha. The gameplay looks so smooth in this video. Um, I definitely can't wait for it, and I can definitely see some uniqueness in the character thanks to the 3D with the outfit, definitely. So, yeah, definitely be on the lookout for this. Uh, de definitely be on the lookout for this game. Now, with all that being said and done. If you guys still have questions on where you can go uh, to find out more about Chainmon, I highly advocate that you, one, join their Discord, which I posted a link below. Two, you, um, you, know, you check out Chainmon's Kickstarter page, which, which has a lot of information on their initial campaign, and it'll explain the game, story mode, concepts, anything I potentially might have missed out on. Um, and, you know, three, um, I think, again, just... Um, just by searching on Google um, about chain monsters, you might find you know various blogs or whatnot about this game and the future of it in terms of NFT and blockchain. So, with all that being said and done, I want to thank you for your time today. I uh, I really enjoyed being able to talk about Chain Mon. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. Um, I also do I also do play games on Twitch. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I put a link below, so please hit me with the follow there as well as Twitter. Um, I hope to cover more NFT games like like blockchain. I've currently explored Lost Relics. I hope to cover more blockchain games like those and more blockchain concepts in general, along with crypto. So definitely, definitely feel free to subscribe me and stay up to date with various concepts that I come out with. And if you check videos before, I've done Top Shot videos as well. So. Please be sure to check those as well. I hope you enjoyed the video again and hope you have a great rest of your day.